Hello, welcome to Tech Talk. Today's theme is getting surround sound from headphones. If anyone who's wearing a pot of headphones, watching a movie or play a game or a test, you get a very clear detailed sound and you often, with a good pair of headphones, feel like it's going on all around you. But you can't exactly pinpoint where things are coming from. And that's because you're often listening to just a down mix. If you have, say, a Dolby soundtrack, 5.1 soundtrack, it's down mixed into just two channels, and that's all that's there. So there is a way of making this coded right for headphones. That's called Dolby Headphone. And you'll see quite a lot of amplifiers have this, uh, receivers have it, and it's now become possible to have it portably. And for this, I found this. Victor headphones around amp adapter. So if you look here, you'll see it can take in a signal like a DTS, Dolby Digital, or a, a stereo signal and change it to Dolby Pro Logic 2. And here we go, see it's on auto movie right now, the settings. And then you can apply the Dolby headphone technology to it. And this can fit in your pocket, this can attach to anything you like to a receiver, to your DVD player. It has a digital in. There's your phones. And here is the analog input. You just plug that into your iPod or whatever. And you can have an interesting effect. When I say interesting effect, I mean at times an amazing effect. Especially with the Dolby Digital DTS. It's just amazing. You hear sounds coming from exactly where they would in the movie. Ambient sounds uh, feel as if they're going on all around you. The bass is, is very, very specific. You hear footsteps and explosions exactly where they are. The positioning is extremely clear. It's way better than the headphones, that the, sorry, the speakers I have. And I think it's probably better with a good pair of headphones than most people's speakers. In fact, I've even tried it with some little cheap headphones and it's extremely clear. And one reason for this is it's easier to make good headphones than good speakers because the speakers are big things. It's expensive to make really good speakers. Uh, a big pair of, uh, good pair of speakers compared to a good pair of headphones, you're talking, you know, 10 times the price, maybe 100 times the price. So now you have a portable way of, of experiencing your surround sound with great fidelity. What's the drawback? For me, the bass is not as good, not as powerful as a big subwoofer or even the, my full range speakers. Uh, headphones aren't very good at bass, they're, they're small, they're designed for very detailed sound, especially high frequencies and especially for music, not movie soundtracks which have quite a lot of bass, a lot of presence which would probably muffle, you know, you know, delicate music. So they're not as exciting as listening on speakers and the very fact you're using headphones, it feels a little closed in, a little bit, um, what the word be, sterile, a little bit artificial. Uh, but other than that, I think if you get used to it, it would be great. Another advantage, of course, late night listening. You can hear the, uh, the surround sound without blasting your speakers and with the full, you know, full uh, coding. Now there's another surround technology for headphones which is coming out soon and I met an interesting man who told me about it called Stephen Smith. Stephen Smith is the man who invented DTS, the original DTS algorithm which you have in movie theatres and a bit more recently you have on DVDs, it's often compared uh, quite favourably to Dolby Digital and he's working on a new form of surround for headphones called Smith Virtual Surround, and I'll just show you. Here's the pamphlet. I, uh, I actually met him at the Tokyo Game Show. Smith Virtual Surround, and here's the headphones, example of a pair of headphones. These are the kind of headphones he actually likes. And it's got a head tracking module here. So what this head tracking module does is, as you move around, the, uh, the, the, the sound will move with your head so it will be as if the speakers are staying in one place so for example I've got a speaker here I move my head a virtual speaker here I should say it seems as if the sound's coming from the same place so 
I tried them out and it does sound really really like speakers uh, the bass probably wasn't quite as powerful as a you know, good subwoofer but it was very good bass with the, you know, the amplification he was offering for headphones and this has another feature, a really interesting one, where you, you put a microphone in your ear and you do this with a very nice surround setup and it will listen to hear how all the sounds impact your ear from each direction and then it will measure that and keep a personalized version so from then on when the algorithm, the SVH algorithm, uh, calculates how to uh, output the surround sound for your headphones, it will do it just right for your ears. Because Stephen says that each people's has each person has different ears, and the Dolby headphone is all very nice, but it's a generic measurement and is not exactly uh, convincing for everyone. So his one, is, he's saying, is, you know, is more so. Another advantage of his one is it can do any surround format, uh, you know, from 5.1 to 6.1 to 7.1. Dolby headphones only doing uh, 5.1, and on some of the new formats, you have, you know, you have 7.1 encoded in there. And um, it's a very interesting technology, and I'm interested in trying it out. But for the moment, we do have the Victor unit, and I had a very interesting chat with Stephen about uh, you know audio technologies and how it's improving all the time you know we've had the record moving on to the CD and then the super audio CD and then the blu-ray and all the time we're getting more and more detail more and more uh, substance and, and you know smoothness and naturalness in in the coding well I mean I think CD and and uh, record may be a kind of exception to this because a lot of people say records are more smooth and natural but I think Super Audio CD you know, more or less fixes this, as as will Blu-ray, both you know, lossless and very detailed uh, representations. And I think it's great that with a pair of headphones, even in the middle of the night, even with with a you know a, a very badly configured room that just isn't right for all the high frequencies to like uh, be be portrayed properly in that room without being absorbed by the walls, and you can have perfect sounding surround sound and that's got to be a good thing so for the moment I'm really enjoying my Dolby headphone thing I'm plugged into the back of my PS3 with the digital in and the games oh, are so different the ambient sounds as if they're all around you the gunshots the footsteps are exactly where they should be uh, the music is very clear you, you feel a kind of presence to the whole thing you feel an immersion that I couldn't hear with just the normal down mix usual just headphone output and then I've tried it with movies and it's again quite incredible the way it portrays it the way each thing is happening in the right place the, you know very clearly but like I said it's not quite as exciting as speakers it doesn't have the bass and when you're wearing headphones you feel a little bit closed in but it's the best we've got yet and you know, I, I recommend it so another edition of Tech Talk. Hope you enjoyed listening and thank you. Goodbye for now.